Welcome back to my Fable 3 Let's Play. My name is Parky and this is episode 36. Last time we were listening to some proposals from um, Reva. We're not getting married, we're just... Um, well, that was a bad joke. Um, so, so yeah, we, we uh, got cut off halfway through a scene when we've got to make another decision. So I'm going to let you watch this now. And I'm being called. Well done. Turns off phone. So let's listen. Future of Bower Lake. Reaver will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metals. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home, but it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. I didn't hear any Bower of that. Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, well. Oh, really? Exactly, Reva. You Reva. may not have improved the people's lives inside this city, but are you also going to destroy the one place they can find peace? Yes. The decision is yours to make, Your Majesty. So, yeah, sorry about that. I had to answer the phone. We need the resources in Bower Lake. It will become a quarry. The king has ruled. Bower Lake shall be drained and mined for resources. I applaud your enterprising spirit. The lake shall be drained at once. Good. I fought for you. Shut but up. But you turned your back on your people. Majesty. Behold the ugliness of nature, so miserly in its gifts, its very... See, it looks so much better already. ...to all good sense. Now, see it transformed... Yeah, there you go. Much nicer. ...monument to human ingenuity. Soil and rock offering up life and hope to thousands. How can one fail to be moved by such generosity? Reaver Industries proudly presents... The Bower Pits. So much nicer. Wouldn't you agree? And look, we've almost got enough money to save the world. Whoa! I trust the court was not too... Ooh. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. Final a task? A wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Sounds good. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, Your Majesty. Okay. Hang on. Is that money in my... personal, or...? Oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Get out of here. Okay. Whoa! I forgot I could do that. Where are we going? Uh, over here. Nice. It's going to be a trap, isn't it? It's a trap. Oh no, look, the projected civilian casualties has gone down. See, I am saving people. Unless, of course, they've gone down because the total population has um, fallen because everyone's dying. Uh, in which case, oh well. Hello? Oh. Okay. Deny. You're annoying. Where are we going? Look, I know where the thief is. He fled into the woods. Hello. Adam, I understand you want to recover what you've lost. But those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience. 
or training hello or skill hello I don't want to enter them I want you to right that's what she said talking about me oh just forget it I'll talk to ah, you now your majesty it's such an honor to have you here your hair is ridiculous inspired to make me look like a fool beware the woods your majesty the soldiers may be superstitious but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within good luck I know you will succeed okay uh, care to show me the way sparkly trowel fine what Okay, so now you show me where to go. Brilliant. Oh, is that a rabbit? Kill it! Never mind. Okay. Uh, so we've got to go and uh, find this ugly lady's something or other from the forest with evil people in it. That's all I got from it, anyway. Now, if there's anything I've learned from previous episodes, one thing I love doing is not meeting them. The one thing I love doing is um, running from people who are trying to kill me. What's this? Looking for the statue, Your Majesty. Follow the White Balvary. Okay. Hello. Let me guess. I'm going to be surrounded by something in a minute. Okay. I'm finding this very slightly unnerving. It says follow the white balverine, but I'm just hearing it groaning at me. Oh. Hello. Right. <laughs> Prepare to meet your... Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. For a moment there, I thought you were a Belverine. It's fine. Damn things are always trying to get through our defences. We burn silver nitrate in those lamps to keep them out. Kills them pretty quick if they hang around for too long. If a lamp goes out, well, I don't like to think what might happen then. One went out just recently, but we got it lit again fast. The man responsible, this bloke Connor, got punished. Severely. Before he disappears into the forest, he tells us there's going to be a reckoning. He's probably in 25 different stomachs right now. That's my reckoning. You can come on out, everyone. It's safe. Right. So, why would you choose to live in a place with... Why are they booing me? I've never been here before. So why would you... Oh... Is there more than one of those Belverine things, or are they... Are there loads of them? Hang on. Is there more than one, or are there loads of them? Brilliant. You know what I meant. Ah. This looks like an area of death. Hello? Your Majesty. I've been expecting you. You've been through the village, have you? Charming hamlet. It's full of warm, wonderful people who'll give you the shirt off their back and condemn you to death for one simple mistake. Anyone can fall asleep on watch. You exile him into this forest and call it justice. But enough about that. You're here for that statue. It's quite a remarkable thing. It did everything the legend said it would. What's that? And now I don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's funny how things change. So if you want to take it back to that prig in Millfields, nearly, it's yours. Nearly free nearly of charge. Free of charge. 
All I ask is a small favor. Destroy those silver nitrate lanterns. Then the village will get a taste of justice. Okay. The choice is yours. And it's a simple one. How simple? If you decline, my brothers will kill you. Let's attack the village. Excellent. Let's destroy all the lamps. So wait, are these guys on my side now? They better be. Hello guys. I think you might die in a minute. Oh, Christ. Did you have to do that? Um... Let's go. There you go. I'm warning you. Stop them, or I'll open fire. Go ahead. All right, come on then. Right, so what am I doing now? Hang on, if those things can jump around in the trees, why do they need to go through the doors? Why can't they just jump over there? And down into here? Oh well, let's not question. Come on, kill that woman. You stupid. Look. Like that. Okay. That seems like a good place to end the video. If I can... Can I save it? I can save it. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to save it here. Uh, tune in next time for the next episode. We're obviously going to get this statue from the... The wolf man person. With... Um, horrible Balverine brothers or whatever he said. So yeah, click one of the annotations to go to the previous or next video. Wherever it is on the video, I still don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, outro of awkward, goodbye, goodbye, awkward, awkward, goodbye, awkward.